Whether you love to read or not so much, picking out the perfect book can be overwhelming. It's not so hard to choose from the few dozen books on the bookshelves in your language arts classroom. Even at a bookstore, where they have a few hundred books, we can usually find something we like pretty quickly. But the school library has thousands of books and several aisles of bookshelves. How can we make up our mind in just a short period of time? Meet Stuart. He's a lot like you. He can quickly pick out a book in the classroom or even at the bookstore. But he can't seem to find a book in just five or six minutes when he comes to the school library. Stuart ponders his problem and thinks he has a solution. Stuart realizes that choosing a book in the school library is like walking into a shoe store and choosing a new athletic shoe from the huge number on display. He decides to apply the system he uses to pick a perfect shoe to picking out the perfect book. When Stuart walks around the shoe store, the appearance of a shoe catches his eye and he stops to take a closer look. As Stuart walks around the school library, the appearance of a book entices his interest, so he pulls it off the shelf. He looks at the illustration on the cover and reads the title of the book. This book might be good. Stuart picks up a shoe and examines it more closely to see how it looks on all sides. To examine a book more closely, Stuart opens the cover to look at the flap inside the front cover and reads the teaser, which gives him a quick glimpse of the story. Then Stuart turns to the copyright page. That's the page on the back side of the title page. There is usually a short summary that gives him a better idea of what the story is about. Stuart knows he has to try on a shoe to see how well it fits, and as he decides he can try on a book by reading the very first page of the story. Hmm, sounds good so far. With the shoe on his foot, Stuart considers other options. Who made the shoe? Does he know this brand? Other considerations for a book include the author. Has he read other books by this person, or is he going to try someone new that he hasn't read before? Of course, Stuart needs to walk around the store to be sure the shoe is truly comfortable. Stuart can walk around in a book to see if it's comfortable by using the five-finger test for the reading level of the book. He turns to the middle of the book and begins to read. If he comes to a word he doesn't know, he holds up one finger. For each word he doesn't know, he holds up another finger. If he holds up all five fingers on one hand before he reads the two pages in front of him, he knows that book is a little too hard and he won't really enjoy reading it. But if he doesn't get to five fingers, then the book should be just right for him. Now he's getting really excited about this book. Stuart is almost finished, choosing both his shoe and his book. Just a couple more things to look at. Stuart considers the type of athletic shoe he wants. Running, walking, racing, aerobic, tennis, basketball, or cross trainer. In the school library, he can choose the type of story he wants to read based on the fiction subjects. Adventure, fantasy, historical fiction, scary, mystery, realistic fiction, romance, or science fiction. Stuart can also learn about people from different backgrounds by choosing from different multicultural stories. Finally, Stuart seems satisfied with his evaluation of the book. He remembers another student has recommended this book and the teacher showed them a book trailer review about it. Stuart knows this will be a good book to read. At last, Stuart is happy. He used a simple system to choose a book in a very short period of the time, and the system tells him, it is for me. You can use the same system when you come to the school library, and you will also be able to find the perfect book in just a short amount of time.